It is Saturday, June 14. I'm Jam of Jerome and this is Jam Online TV. So, may announce a new phone on Star Mobile and bagong dalawang tablet si Samsung. Pero meron din tayong balita tungkol sa bagong Chinese brand na nasa bansa ang Xiaomi. So, malalaman natin mamaya. So, doon muna tayo sa Star Mobile Quest. Ang bagong mid-ranger phone ngayon is Star Mobile. So, it has a 4.5-inch QHD display. It's 960 by 540 pero IPS display siya. It has a 1.2 GHz Snapdragon 200 quad-core processor. So, medyo powerful naman siya. And probably maganda performance niya since yung Snapdragon 200 na MSM8212 um, based sa mga benchmarks sa mga previous phones maganda ang performance niya. There's a gig of RAM pero 4 gig lang yung storage. Ang interesting dito ay ang kanyang camera. It has a Sony sensor, uh, BSI camera siya and napaka-interesting niya. Alam niyo kung bakit? Kasi ang Sony sensor and BSI camera known for um, taking great photos kahit na low light. So I'm pretty sure na kahit na sa dark environment ka or low under no, hindi magand low light conditions, maganda pa rin ang turnout ng iyong images. So probably Sana makakuha tayo na review unit. I'm mean, very interested to Star Mobile Quest. I'm hoping na dumating na ka. Well, I'm, I'm, as far as I know, available lang Star Mobile Quest. So you can get it now at any Star Mobile kiosk and stores. So it is priced at 6590 And if you ask me, para sa akin, na 6590 okay na siya para sa features niya. Well, you got a Snapdragon 200 processor. And then you have a Sony sensor na camera, which is 12 megapixel. I think... Okay na sa akin yun. Sulit na sa akin ang Star Mobile Quest. Plus, ang gusto ko pa dito yung durability ng mga Star Mobile. So, compared to other brands, sa local brands, I really like the Star Mobile kasi maganda talaga yung mga quality niya. Doon naman tayo sa susunod. Ang bagong Chinese brand sa bansa, ang Xiaomi Mi 3 phone. Ang unang um, phone na darating sa Pilipinas from Xiaomi will be available sa Lazada and hopefully sa other online stores. So, ano ba meron din si Xiaomi Mi 3? So, meron siyang Snapdragon 800 processor which is makikita natin sa Galaxy Note 3. So, medyo powerful talaga siya. It has a 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash and sabi nila maganda naman yung camera. There's a 2GB of RAM, 16GB of storage pero walang LTE and unfortunately, walang price pa ang Xiaomi Mi 3. So, we call this as Mi 3 kasi Xiaomi is like Apple and then Mi is like the iPhone. So, it's Mi 3. It's the, the brand is the name of the company is Xiaomi, but the phone brand is Mi 3. That's the brand, the model, the product model. Anyway, so the Mi 3 will, uh, will be available very, very soon. And unfortunately, wala ako dito. I was not si Yugo Bara and I was invited during that time. Um, I'm hoping na uh, dumating ka ganun ang Mi 3 and sana sobrang mura nito kasi sa China, sobrang mura ng Mi 3. And as far as I know, wala tayong local physical stores dito kundi meron lang tayong online stores katulad na strategy nila na ginagawa sa China. I've tried it kanina and sobrang na-impress ako sa design ng Xiaomi Mi 3 and sabi ko parang 9 to 5 pag hinawakan mo siya pero it's larger, it's Android, and it's fast. Ang ganda ng display niya. Even though na wala siyang app drawer, nagustuhan ko siya. It's very user friendly. I really like the Xiaomi Mi 3. So hopefully we can get hands on of it very soon. Pero for now, let's just wait for the launch of the Xiaomi Mi 3. And wala pa naman tayong masyadong balita kung anong, well, wala akong balita tungkol sa price niya and sa mga well, availability niya. Pero it's soon. So don't forget to check out um, Xiaomi Philippines na Facebook page kasi doon nila talaga i-announce. And then si Sammy may announce ng bagong dalawang tablets. It's the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4 and the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 10.5. So alam niyo na naman siguro yung size niya. It's 8.4 and 10.5. Both are powered by Snapdragon 800 processor just like the Tab Pro. Um, it has a 3 gig of RAM. It's almost the same specs with the Tab Pro. But this one, this one is much lighter. This one is thinner, and this one has a super AMOLED display. Actually, it's both tablets yung same yun. Alam niyo interesting dito. Both tablets are 6.6 millimeters thin, and it's very very light. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4 is um, super super light. It's at 294 grams. Sobrang ganyan yun. Imagine that. Sobrang gaan ng Tab S 8.4. Pero when it comes to specs, medyo similar siya sa Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 and Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. Pero itong Tab S 10.5 is much thinner 
Mas malaking display, of course, 10.5. Well, yung dati is 8.4, then Tab Pro 8.4, then 8 .4, Tab S 8.4, then Tab S 8.10, Tab Pro 10.1, and then we have the Tab S 10.5. According to Samsung, di naman nila uh, i-phase out ang Tab Pro. And, well, siguro, and um, according to some of the people na nakausap ko, is ang available lang daw dito is the LTE version. Uh, while in Tab Pro is the Wi-Fi version for the first time LTE version ang nauna so probably the Wi-Fi version would be the Tab Pro and if you want the LTE version you'll get the Tab S which is a better specifications but almost the same when it comes to performance siguro um, of course we have the Android 4.4 KitKat and meron pa rin tayong Galaxy Gifts katulad ng Samsung Galaxy S5 na mga kuha tayong mga libreng apps um, actually it's not free it's the premium apps that you can get for free so that's very very interesting um, so yun, that's the Galaxy Tab S, the Xiaomi Mi 3, and the Star Mobile Quest. So that's it for this week's uh, Jam Online TV. So wag nyo kalimutan bisitahin ang website ko, um, jeromeanchero.com. And kung nakikita nyo naman siguro, it's the Star Mobile Quest. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe sa channel ko, well, mag-subscribe na kayo ngayon sa channel ko. So once again, I'm Jam from jeromeanchero.com and see you on my channel.